Uh, so my name's Shakumo and I entered the big challenge in 2013 with my business Mostly Muffins. So I um, used to bake muffins, um, I just used to make any kind of desserts and basically sell them on. I was at Longley Pots at Spawn College so I supplied the college and then from then I kind of started supplying friends and family and so like if anyone had um, any birthdays. And as I got to university I then started to um, speak to different people and ask for like business advice. And my advice to you guys would be speak to as many people as you can because from that I got to expand my business. And um, I went to speak to someone um, at Delicious Alchemy where um, it was just a woman in business that had been through exactly what I'd been through. And it turned out at the time she needed help, um, someone needed help um, with the baking. And from that I was then able to consult, be, become a consultant and um, it basically meant that I was going to Delicious Alchemy, I'd bake for them, and as time went on, I realised that I could start developing my own products as well. So I now have a range of um, gluten and dairy free products that have ended up in supermarkets, and that's literally just because I went to speak to one person. Through that, I got to learn different skills from her business, and people taught me things there that I could then use with my own business. And as time's gone on, I've gone from doing just cakes and desserts that have gluten in them to um, I think I now have granola in Sainsbury's. I've got cake mixers in Asda and Tesco, but they're under own label. And I've got some um, cereals under them as well. Yeah. So one of my top tips to you guys would be to network as much as you can. Through networking, you'll meet people that have skills that you don't have yet, but it might be related to what you're doing. It might not be related to what you're doing, but it might lead you onto something that you didn't even know you could do. I've gone from baking and supplying my college to having my own products in, in supermarkets. And even though they're not under my own business name yet, I can walk into places. Like I went into Tesco two days ago and um, they've released their Christmas bowl kits and they were the last products that I worked on. So yeah, so my top tips would be, number one, network as much as possible. Number two, don't be too shy in terms of who you speak to. And number three be work really hard because the more time you put in, the more you get out of it. There were sleepless nights that I had last year. I was in my final year of uni and some nights I'd probably get two, three hours sleep and I'd just be crying all the time. But if you put the work in, you'll get something out of it. Another thing I'd say about the people you network with, look around at the people that are there today. There are people that you might not ever think that you'd be friends with, but where I am right now, Harvey's become one of my best friends. Harvey's done two of my websites and he's someone that I see on a very frequent basis. So I definitely say you need to be smart about who you're friends with and have like-minded people around you because as you go through school and through uni, a lot of people don't think the same as you and even like your teachers won't understand where you're kind of coming from when, it, when you turn around and say that you might want your own business or in the future you'd want to do that. So if you've got the right kind of people around you, then it'll make sure that you, at least even when you feel a bit down about things, you've always got someone to back you up. So good luck and I'll see you at the big awards. Big, big challenge top tips with Harvey Morton, Chikumo Faseko and Jack Crofts. Send your questions in to three of our most inspiring and successful entrepreneurs via tips at bigchallenge.biz.